Drives already five red lights. What is this camera angle? And away we go. Couple of cars off to a good start here. It's not really showing much. Someone's already round. As all Melvin's already up alongside uh, Jamie. Same as TTV with Thomas. And T TTV's just gone up the inside of Melvin. Obviously getting the outside line for the next corner. I think that was Blake and the Ferrari as well at the back. That JXY has already been... Oh, there's a Williams off. Was that wrong throw? Yeah, it was. Both Williams in the mud. That's there's a McLaren. That's, uh, no, a Mercedes. that sends it up the inside. There's a racing ball round. I think that was Jace. And look at the gap that uh, Tycho's already got. Let me get the interval up. Dan gets past Bayes. TTV up the inside. Going around the outside for the next couple of corners. Oh, pushed on the limit. He gets through and there's a Aston Martin going off track there. Yellow flags are out for brownish buns. Build Holic past Blake. And Blake's round. Blake has spun. Just look at the gap already that from Tycho. That is filthy. Melvin's alongside here. Who's going to have the lower wings here is a question as Melvin just pulls in behind there. His TTV is going to go up the inside of Thomas, but it looks things. No, he's not. But there's an uh, Salba pulls up to the inside of both Ferraris. But it's looking like he's only going to get one of them. Or none of them, side by side here. Going into the final corner, is one of them going to back out or is none of them going to back out? They're both going to try and stick it. And that was never going to end well, let's be real. Blake's still going to come up and hit him though. After giving the position back, he's up the inside again. And nicely done from Blake Collins on his uh, return. We've all got a lot of battery saved above then Kitchen One Eye. Kitchen One Eye is actually side by side with Lad. Who's going to have the straight line speed? Melvin's going Melvin. for me. Jamie as well, yeah. Oh. Around the outside goes Jamie. Uh, not Jamie, Melvin. So He's close to it. touching. Really nice overtake from the McLaren. He gets up into P2. Is it already too late to catch Tycho though? Obviously, you know, in the last Div 4 race at China, um, obviously I won it. So it, uh, it would be nice to see a McLaren on the front row again. On the front row, on the top step for the podium. As Jamie around the outside into turn one. Getting past Melvin again. So uh, if I should drop Kitchen One Eye and he's vulnerable. Oh, there goes oh both the cars. Vlad with a double overtake. Oh, and yes. Oh, Kitchen's back on the inside. Oh. I think there was contact between him and the, there the uh, McLaren there. Oh, wait. Tycho's oh. pitted. Why has he done oh. that? Hmm. Tycho with a really early stop. Five Wise is actually going to go for oh. it. There he goes the long way round. Kitchen One Eye getting the inside line. As Brown's Buns gets a penalty. And Five Wise gets the move. Is uh, Kitchen going to fight it? No, he's not. Ooh. Oh, he actually hits the bump. That could have been really bad for the Aston Martin driver. As, oh, <gasps> Tycho penalty! Tycho, oh, he's pushing too hard! That Not only will huge. his tyres be done, the, the penalty as well. It is Melvin <laughs> to try and play a team game here, you know. <coughs> they kind of want to extend these hards. To yeah. Oh, oh Vlad's around! No. Vlad's binned it. That's so unfortunate for the young Romanian. As he's just dropping down, Tycho's going to be right behind him now. That's he's actually sent it, Tycho sent it. Oh. Could Vlad hold him up now though? And That's not going to be out. good. That's not going to be good for the McLaren. He's going to go for it already. He's going for it. Is Vlad going to be able to hold it? No, there's nothing that the young Romanian can do there. Yeah. Kanan's going to get eaten alive here by the looks of things. Kanan's actually going to defend oh. it. Oh, free wide. Oh, and Tycho just slots behind, playing it safe. Actually, he's up the inside oh of Kitchen. Oh my god. What a move. There's still free wide. Oh, Tycho's passed. Five wide just. Move. Five wide is boxed. A really early call from Five Wise. <laughs> As Jace is all over the back of Kijin One Eye. Jace is up into P4. It's crazy how, you know, Tycho is boxed and he's, he's already there with him. Is he going to get clo how close to the moment? Melvin's actually come out in the fight with uh, Jamie and TTV, which is his net for P2 as well. As Melvin, obviously on fresh mediums, he's got a chance to make some of it. As Jamie can ride in the curb. Ooh. Around the outside, going the long way around. Melvin's going to look for get both of them, and oh, he just can't find space. But he's oh, still going to get there anyway. He's going for it on Jamie. The Haas pushing the Williams all the way to the limit. Not the Williams, the McLaren. Oh. 
too used to Melvin and the Williams. These lot are fighting for position. This is the crucialest fight on the track right now as Melvin's all over the back of Jamie. Oh, oh Builder Holic. Oh. Three second penalty for Builder Holic. As Blake, I think he's just made a double. Oh! Dan's just taking them both out. No. Dan's just taking both of them out. Tucker, oh. Daniel. Daniel Tucker. <coughs> oh, what have you done? As they're going side by side up here, I don't know who that is. Thomas and Jamie. It's Thomas just cuts in front of him. Plays it nice and safe there. No risks. If I was Dino, mate, I'd, I'd call it quits here. Oh! Right. TTV's round! He's into the gravel. No. He's reset the track. Oh, TTV. Wait, TTV must have had a moment. This Kijin one now got the run on him. Kijin round the outside. TTV's going for it on Jace, I think, though. No, he's not. Kijin one I guess he overtake down <gasps> on TTV. Has it boxed? Has it boxed? Tight goes in. That's Jace with a massive moment there. Almost losing out. What's he going to go on to? Probably possibly medium. Oh, medium. Told you that. Ooh. Two stop. Where's he going to come out though? It's looking like he might come out behind Vlad. Oh, a McLaren no, team well, Whoa, here. no, it's nowhere near that. No. He's whoa. Look how close so five wise is to Jamie. So, all them drivers. Uh, five wise into turn one. Ooh. Five wise is up into P4. Ooh. On the limit there. Jamie's trying to hold it around the outside, obviously getting the inside for the next couple of corners. Five wise, has he got the traction? No, he's not. And Kajin one is actually come in to get involved. It's not looking like he can do much, though. Oh, look at the gap from the front three. No, oh, I just noticed that. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, look at the... Just look at the difference in the traction there. Yeah, tyco has gone past Thomas. Thomas just needs to stick within three seconds. That's all he's got to do. He could be on for the win. If Thomas burns here, he's just not going to do, is he? Tyco is on 8% battery. Ooh, Ooh. almost rear end of the McLaren. Yes. Kinnan's past Jamie. Five ways, getting it done, gets the job done, you know how we do. Melvin could still get a podium, to be fair. So Never there's rule a, out Melvin. This little train behind uh, Five Wise is looking very juicy. I'm going to say so. Turbo Tyco. Back into the lead of the race, only took him two, three laps. It's Jamie, oh, Jamie went to go for it on Five Wise. Got caught napping. He's been overtaken by Kajim Wanai and Vlad. Jamie's just gone from P5 down to P7. In a matter of two seconds. <gasps> Jace. Jace looking for it. Up at the inside. Right, Jace he tried to look for it. For that position he does. Now. Oh, yellow flag has Mercedes. Flags. Daniel Tucker. Shut up, Up the inside goes Jace. Oh, wow. He's still there to be fair to him. The hat's all over the place right oh. now. Oh, the Mercedes on top past Melvin for P2. I think Melvin's more concerned about keeping that P3 now. Same as uh, Jace up the inside of Jamie. Go on. Side by side. On, Jace. Jace getting it done. Still oh. side by side though, going into the final corner. Is one of them going to back out? They're both hungry. Jace backs out though and gets the better exit. For the pit straight as a Red Bull going off track. Oh, a fair play to them both, keeping it clean for that final corner. Coming across the final corner is Turbo Tyco, who's dominated the whole race, and he's going to win the China Grand Prix and go two for two. Thomas going to come across the final corner, secure himself a nice little P2. And Vlad's actually in the in the 10 second. Melvin finishes P3 on track. But is Vlad going to take it? Which McLaren's going to get it? Is it going to be Vlad? Is it going to be Melvin? It's going to be the wrong taking the final spot on the podium. Lovely from him, four attempts between them. The G1 has to set up for P5, and if, oh, five wise was so close, you know. A tenth and a half to get in a P5. Jace with a brilliant recovery drive. Jamie was so unlucky, dropping down to P8. TTV as well, really unlucky. Bayes with a, just quite a chill drive, I'd like to say. Neek as well, Neek and Dan, and Blake, to be fair, this is still on for these positions. Okay, Neek's going to take P11. Which Neek will take P11. Dan's going to be P12, but after penalties, he's going to push Blake up to P12. Deserves that. 
Pistol Peter also getting P14. And now we got to wait for all these guys, but Dino is going to cross the line. And Pistol Peter somehow DNFing. Wrong thrower takes P... Well, it'll be P15 because Pistol Peter's been wrong with DNF. And that's, that's the grid. Uh, that's the final standings for this race. I mean, it was an eventful race, definitely. I mean, the biggest battle was a battle of time because of penalties between two teammates.